everyone, it's Miss Carol. And we are on um, week number three of our Google Classroom for Sunday School. And this week's theme is God is Helping Us. Our scripture this week comes from Psalm 25, 1 through 15. So if you have an opportunity to quickly grab your Bible and would like to read along with me, I'd love to have you do that. Again, we are doing five, uh, Psalm 25, and we are going to read verses 1 through 15. So if you are ready, I'll begin to read. In you, Lord my God, I put my trust. I trust in you. Do not let me be put to shame, nor let my enemies triumph over me. No one who hopes in you will ever be put to shame. But shame will come on those who are treacherous without cause. Show me your ways, Lord. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God my Savior. And my hope is in you all day long. Remember, Lord, you are great mercy and love, for they are from of old. Do not remember the sins of my youth and my rebellious ways. According to your love, Remember me, for you, Lord, are good. Good and upright is the Lord, and therefore he instructs sinners in his ways. He guides the humble in what is right and teaches them his way. All the ways of the Lord are loving and faithful toward those who keep the demands of his covenant. For the sake of your name, Lord, forgive my iniquity, though it is great. Who then are those who fear the Lord? He will instruct them in the ways they should choose. They will spend their days in prosperity, and their descendants will inherit the land. The Lord confides in those who fear him. He makes, he makes his covenant known to them. My eyes are ever on the Lord, for only he will release my feet from the snare. So that, boys and girls, is our scripture for this week, Psalm 25, 1 through 15. And again, our theme this week is God is helping us. God is helping us all the time. I want you to think for a moment about spring. I mean, that might be very difficult to do right now because there's a lot of snow on the ground and it's really cold. But it will be spring soon. In a month, in less than a month, we're is it less than a month? Pretty close to it. We are going to have spring. So a little over a month, it will officially be spring. Even though we still might have snow on the ground and, and the temperature might still be cold, beginning March 21st is the first day of spring. And many things will start to happen that remind us spring is here. We begin to see flowers, popping up in our yards, the snow begins to melt, the, the sun stays out longer, and the days start to get a little bit warmer. Last week, if you remember, we talked about how it's impossible for us to understand and trust everything God has said to us, unless God helps us to understand. Did you know that there are signs all around us every day that God really is helping us? When someone has never trusted God before, begins to trust him, that's a sign that God is working for us. When someone who has never believed in God asks God to help them, that's a sign too. When we do better on that math test than we expected, or someone comes to help us when we fall down at recess, these are signs too. There are signs everywhere that God is with us and God is helping us. One other really important sign of God's help is called grace. Grace happens when God gives something to us even though we definitely don't deserve it. For example, because we have all done bad things, made some bad decisions, and done things that God tells us not to do, we have all sinned. The Bible tells us when we sin, we cannot live in heaven with Jesus. But, 
the Bible also tells us if we talk with God about our sin and we tell him we are really sorry, really, really sorry for doing the wrong things, God will forgive us. And with God's forgiveness, we can once again live forever with Jesus. That's grace. God didn't have to forgive us, and we didn't definitely didn't deserve, deserve God's forgiveness, but that's how much God loves us. He gave his son, Jesus, to die for us, that we don't have to die, but instead we can live forever with Jesus in heaven. Want to know one more sign that God is with us and helping us? When, when trust God and love God with all of our heart, the Bible tells us that God does wondrous works for us, things that sometimes even seem unbelievable, but God did it for us. And when we realize how good God is to us, we want to, him to know more and we want to know we want to know him more and more each day our love for god grows bigger every day and that's one more amazing sign that god is really helping us boys and girls i hope that you're taking time each day to talk to god and 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 he loves us i tell you this all the time god loves us every second every minute every hour of every day. Take time every day to thank God for all the wonderful things that he has given you and given all of us and trust in him. And if you trust in him and believe in God and, and listen to the ways of God, good things will happen for you. He is such a wonderful, he's so wonderful for us. And I pray that you will Remember that and take time every day to speak with him because he's listening all the time. Well, boys and girls, I hope you have a wonderful rest of the week. I hope you're practicing your Bible lessons your, and, and re recording them and sending them to me because you will be rewarded. It's fun to learn them. Our Bible verses are fun. And as I mentioned last week, when your parents are watching on Facebook Live, if they are watching and not at church, because, you know, then it would be hard for you to be home alone and they're at church, whatever. But if they're home and you can get on a computer, do your lesson when they're watching Facebook Live. And you it's like being in Sunday school. You can learn your memory verse. You can learn the lesson. You can read the scripture from your Bible. And it's just a wonderful way to spend Sunday morning. And again, you can look at it all week long as well. Well, boys and girls, I hope you have a wonderful week. Today is Thursday, so the week is almost up And for me. And um, as always, I always say to you, blessings to you all. Until the next time we meet. Take care, everybody. Bye.